An integral part of our justice ministry here at UUCJ is the work we do with ICARE. For those who don't know, ICARE is an acronym that stands for Interfaith Coalition for Action, Reconciliation, and Empowerment. ICARE was founded right here in Jacksonville in 1997. It is a network of 38 congregations across Duval County. Combined, ICARE congregations represent more than 30,000 Jacksonville residents. ICARE's mission is to powerfully address citywide concerns related to issues of justice and fairness. ICARE uses its collective people power to press elected officials and other city leaders on countywide solutions to problems that plague our community. Recent issues tackled by ICARE include homelessness, education, youth crime, and job creation. Every year, every member church of ICARE has a team of individuals who have been designated as that church's justice ministry network. Each church's network is responsible for several duties over the course of the year, but the most important goal of each network is to mobilize their respective congregations to support and attend the annual Nehemiah Assembly. Remember, I told you earlier we were going to talk about Nehemiah today. The Nehemiah Assembly is the culmination of at least a year's worth of work behind the scenes, pressing our local leaders to move forward with initiatives that will bring greater social justice to Jacksonville. The goal is for each member church to stuff the seats at the assembly. Each member church is asked to bring to the assembly a number of people equal to their average weekly Sunday attendance. And in case you haven't noticed, our average weekly Sunday attendance has been going up recently, so I guess our network has its work cut out for them. What happens at the assembly is pretty amazing. I can say from personal experience, I was there last year. I was impressed by what I saw. Representatives of eye care take the stage with important city leaders like Mayor Brown and the superintendent of schools, Dr. Vitti. The eye care represent I, the eye care representatives ask them direct questions that require a yes or no answer. They will demand to know if these leaders will promise to put into effect the reforms that have been presented to them. And it's pretty amazing to see because this is exactly what we need to make democracy work. Too often in America, democracy has become a top-down paradigm where leaders get the vote then ignore the demands of their constituents. At the Nehemiah Assembly, civic leaders are literally surrounded by thousands of citizens speaking with one voice, and the leaders are not allowed to equivocate or use political language to eloquently say nothing. They must answer with a yes or a no. And that is why we need to turn out as many people as possible to this assembly, because the larger the crowd, the harder it is to say no. The Justice Ministry Network of UUCJ will be mobilizing us as a church to participate in this important work, and they will be our representatives at the assembly. So at this time, I would like to call upon all the members of our Justice Ministry Network and ask them to take the stage, or somewhere around the stage if we don't have enough room for you. But if you would come forward, please. You can come up a little closer to center. That's okay. We have we don't we have we have we have we have some room. You know we don't have to be all the way over. In the limited time that we have this morning, I cannot possibly fully articulate the importance of your work. But please know that it is important, and you have the full support of your church family behind you. I'm going to use a very churchy word right now, but it's very appropriate. The Greek word apostle. The word Greek is excuse, the word apostle is a Greek word. Literally, it means one who is sent out. And in this regard, you quite literally are UUCJ's Apostles for Justice. We are commissioning you this morning, sending you out, sending you forward with our blessing, with our name, and with our mission. Part of the reason I became a UU, and likely part of the reason you all became UUs, is because of our commitment to social justice. So things like this really amp me up, and I bet they amp you up too. Mm -hmm. There's a part of me that wants to commission you with the famous words that Spartan mothers told their sons as they prepared to go into battle. Return with your shield or on it. <laughs> but that might be just a bit overzealous. I don't, we lost Carlos. I said I, it was a hypothetical, Carlos. I didn't mean it. As I said, that might be a bit overzealous. I certainly don't want any of you to die. More to the point, those words don't really apply, though, because you have chosen to secure justice through perhaps the most admirable, the most noble of paths, but also the most difficult of paths. You have chosen the path of peace. Justice through peace is long, hard, difficult work. The poet William Stafford, who happens to hail from my own hometown in Kansas, wrote, 
Justice will take us millions of intricate moves. And he is right. This kind of justice work is not for the faint of heart, not for those who want to cut corners. It requires patience and perseverance. So to you all, thank you for committing to do your all to secure the kind of justice that our city needs. Thank you.